welcome back to class. So the last couple days, we've been talking about social settings. Today, I need you guys to turn on your science brain because we are gonna go back over the food chain. Now today, you are going to make a food chain about a giraffe. But before we get into that, I wanna do a really quick review about what is the food chain and go over our last example. So remember, a food chain shows us how energy goes from one thing to the next. And we know we get our energy from food, so do animals. Now animals get their energy from whatever they eat. So in our example from last week, I told you guys all about how coyotes eat rodents. They eat mice and other rodents. Now rodents, we had to look it up, they get their energy by eating plants. And we learned that plants get their energy from the sun. So this shows how energy gets all the way from the sun to the coyote. Now today, like I said, you guys are gonna make a food chain about the giraffe. So listen, okay, show me your ears, listen while I tell you guys all about the giraffe. So giraffes have super long necks so they can reach high into the trees and they eat the leaves off of trees. Now giraffes also have super long tongues because once they reach into the tree, they use their super long tongue to wrap around the leaves and pull it into their mouths. So they are eating leaves using their long necks and their long tongue. But you guys, giraffes are so big. They are very large animals. So they have to eat leaves almost all day long in order to get enough energy to survive. Isn't that interesting? Because as people, we don't eat all day long. We usually eat a couple meals a day and that's enough to give us our energy. But giraffes, they need a lot of energy. So they eat all day. So what I want you guys to do is get out a piece of paper and something to write with. Now for your food chain of the giraffe, I want you to start at the end of the food chain, just like we did last week. So draw your giraffe at the end of the food chain. Then you'll see I left two spaces. In those spaces, you'll need to fill out where do giraffes energy come from. So I just told you, what do giraffes eat? Think about it. And in the space before the giraffe, I want you to draw a picture and label what do giraffes eat. Now you guys, we need to use our thinking scientist brains. Hmm. Did we put an animal here? Do giraffes eat an animal? No, I don't think so. I think they eat something that is a plant. Hmm, so hopefully you guys drew something that is a plant here. And think about it, where do plants get their energy from? And that is what you'll need to put in this blank here. You guys have done an awesome job following along. Go ahead and draw the rest of your food chain. Make sure you label each thing and then turn it into your teacher. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.